Welcome back, everybody. Now, for a movie that's a year older than uh, Mission Impossible and is another 1990s movie, this is one of my favorite movies, and it's just absolutely hysterical. And I've got a truly comical story that I've seen on here on YouTube about um, John John Leguizamo, who's in this movie, being interviewed about making this movie with Wesley Snipes and Patrick Swayze. It's, of course, Too Wong Fu, Thanks for Everything, Julie Newmore. This movie is truly hilarious. It's, you know, the three of them in drag. It's, you know, Wesley Snipes, Patrick Swayze, and John Leguizamo. All three as women. It is just, it is tripping funny. Um, and John Leguizamo said that, um, you know, and he's also, you know, I mean, he's a very good actor. I mean, he can do, you know, serious parts like, you know, Arabian Nights, which I have reviewed previously. Um, in fact, it was one of the first movies I reviewed. Uh, but it's so funny. John talks about, like, Patrick Swayze was the kind of guy that, you know, was just all serious, you know, let's make this movie and, you know, do it right and do it by the book where John was a complete slacker and would just, you know, cut up and cause trouble and, you know, just be like, yeah, you know, and Patrick and John, you know, would have it out all the time. Um, one of my favorite lines in the movies right at the beginning where they talk about, you know, John's character jumps out of the back of the car and he's running with his stuff. And, they, and I can't remember, I think it was Wesley Snipes made the crack, but look at her. Look at her. She's like a little Latino running across the border. And it's just... <laughs> It is so funny. I mean, it's like, yeah, I, I did. This is another one of those movies where I actually seen them shoot part of it. And, like, can tell you that there's, like, a few scenes in this movie they actually shot in Ohio, not too, too far from here, where I live in northern Kentucky. Um, and it's like I've actually been on, you know, a couple of those roads where they actually shoot so it's like you know I know what that is but yeah I do highly recommend this movie I mean granted I know for a fact that there are some people in this world that have problems with drag queens um I actually am not one of those people I, I think drag queens are just some of the coolest people I've ever met I had to spend the night with some drag queens is not what you think I promise um, I was getting paid to be with them because I had a job as a night clerk in a hotel where they had a drag queen convention so um, oh my god it was one of the most interesting eye-opening and interesting events I've ever been to and I mean it, it's like I went home I, I tell you what there's a guy uh, that I met that it's a God's honest truth. Looks like Patrick Swayze in this movie, and I just—he was a little little fella about my height, and I just hugged him. I said, "Can I just take you home with me?" You know, because you are adorable. Is what I told him. I hugged him. I said, "I just love you." I was like, "You just are just so cute." I was like, "I could just take you home with me and keep you because you look just like Patrick Swayze from Tu Wong Fu." And he got this big smile on his face. I said, "Oh my God!" I said, "I just, you know, oh, I mean, this movie is awesome." Um, and it is just, it is so funny. Um, one of, I mean, like I said, the, you know, the, the Latino running across the border. Um, and, of course, Julie Moore, Newmore is in this movie. I won't tell you where she is in the movie. You have to watch it to find out. She is physically in this movie. They do have a photo of her in the movie that they keep showing. Um, it's, also, who's in this movie is... Um, you know, Chris Penn plays the police officer, Stockard Channing and Alice Drummond. Um, Chris Penn, of course, it was in True Romance as a police officer. He unfortunately is dead. I wish he had made some more been, movies and been healthier. Um, Stockard Channing plays um, Carol Ann, and she's married to an abusive car repairman husband named Virgil who's played by Arliss Howard um, and one of the if you get the DVD like this there's a deleted scenes on this disc I have um, it's a, there's a scene with Virgil 
and he's on one of the deleted scenes where they're talking about Newport or New York City career girls and you know and it's like you know uh, Virgil you know is you know thinks that it's his, you know a man's job to abuse a woman I don't think so dude you are wrong you know um and it's just so funny. Uh, Chris Penn is, plays racist Sheriff Dollard. Um, and he tries to force himself onto Vita, played by Patrick Swayze. And um, that's another funny scene. And it's like Vita goes, Get your hand off my dick, buddy! And just pushes him. And that's at the beginning. And it is so funny. And they're like, you know, they're like freaking out and everything. And, you know, um... Wesley Snipes plays Noxima Jackson, and John Leguizamo plays Chi-Chi Rodriguez. Oh my god. I just, I really, really, really love this movie. It's one of my favorite movies to watch because I cannot quit laughing through this movie. I mean, because it is, it is truly funny. Um, I do highly recommend it. I mean, and it's, you know, um... Like Wesley Snipes says at the beginning, you know, a guy that puts on his dress is just a guy in a dress. You know, um, a guy that's got way too much fashion sense for one gender is called a drag queen. And they're, they, they're talking about it at the beginning. Um, or is a boy in a dress. Um, <clears throat> what they call, you know, Chi-Chi initially. But, um, oh my gosh. Uh, I mean, I just really 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 love this movie and i'll tell you who else is in this movie is robin williams um he plays a tiny part at the beginning um he plays um oh shoot uh he plays uh john jacob jingleheimer schmidt i had to look that one up there's a uh, rupaul's in this as rachel tension um, there's, of course, uh, Julie Newmar. There's Naomi Campbell's in this, too. Um, there's, uh, Joseph Arias as Joey Arenas. Uh, Lady Bunny is a pageant hostess. And, um, Alexander Hamburg is himself. And then there's Brandon McDaniel as Candace Kane. There's Clinton Lepup as Miss Coco Peru. And Quentin Crisp as New York pageant judge. And Felita DeBarge as another New York pageant judge. Um... I was so excited to see RuPaul, RuPaul at the beginning of this movie. I mean, RuPaul is, you know, one of one of the most interesting drag queens I've ever seen on screen. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to pause here because I want to, you know, work up some other movie reviews for you. All right, so hang on. <laughs> 